going on, everybody? I'm John Lee Brody of Gaghead. This is a very special edition of Gaghead for two reasons. First one is this is an official collaboration between Gaghead and Funko Games. You know, you've heard the name Funko. You think of those little pop figures, you know, and you also notice that they don't have pop figures of myself and my co-host here, but we won't get into that. I won't bring that up. Anyways, Funko has an awesome games division. They have a bunch of really cool titles, one of which we're gonna unbox here today, as you can see right here. Now, the second reason, and the more important reason why this is a more special kind of content is because I have my really good friend, he's like my brother, I got Cody Walker here to help me out with this unboxing. Yeah, man, stoked to be here, dude. Fast and Furious, obviously it's been a part of your life for a long time, it's been a part of my life yep. for a long time. I remember when the first movie came out, I pretended my Volvo 850, which kind of looked like the Jetta that Jesse had. I pretended, you know, there was a sport mode too. I pretended that I was doing the NOS and everything and I was like gonna gun it down I-53 in Illinois at 55 miles an hour, even though the Volvo didn't go that fast, but it lasts a long time. That's where it started for a lot of people in our generation, man. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we got this game here, Fast and Furious Highway Heist. If you look at the cover art here, you know, you're getting flashbacks of part one when they take down the semi truck, you know, mm -hmm. and everything. They had those tricked out Honda Civics, they're sliding underneath. Uh, also a little bit part four when they take on those oil tankers when they were in like Mexico or like down in South America. I'm sorry, I forget exactly where they were, but they did it. Yeah, they, you've got you've got some cars too in here that are from various yeah. uh, the different movies as well. Yeah, if you know, you know. We don't have to the, say the name yeah, brand, yeah, and yeah, we yeah. technically shouldn't say the name brand, so uh, I'm gonna stay away from that. But. I think without further ado, we gotta ask ourselves, just like Brad Pitt did in the 90s, what's in the box? Let's what's open. in the box? <laughs> you know what's kind of messed up about that is that there's gonna be people watching this who were not born when that movie came out or they will have no idea what we're referencing when we say what's in the box. It's a pity, because that, that is a good movie. <laughs> it has a great movie. And I, I get, and David Fincher, the director of that movie, is a little trivia. He's known to do like 20 takes of everything. I, I'm sure that was take number 20 for Brad. He just had enough, like, what's in the box? Because he looks like he's pushed to the end of his <laughs> work. I'm go. over this. Let's yeah. get it. So, Brad Pitt, this one. is for you. We're going to open this up. We're going to answer the question of what's in the box. So, you ready for this? Let's do it. So, we're going to bring this up. Uh, it rhymes with seven. All right, so we got instructions here, as we should. You know, so we got highway heist. So there's three different scenarios, as we can see here. We've got the chopper takedown, which is a nod to part seven, which me, your, uh, myself, and you, and our special guest who's gonna join us for the gameplay later. Yeah. Uh, not the names, but John Brotherton. We're all part of part seven, so that's the chopper takedown. Uh, we've got the semi heist. Which goes, harkens back to, well, they did this quite a few times. They did. So, <laughs> Starting with the first movie and continuing on throughout the years. So, semi heist there, and then uh, this would be from the sixth uh, movie. This is the great trailer moment the with Chris, Chris Bridges going, guys, I got a tank. <laughs> I, I, I've been practicing that a little bit. And if, if Chris is watching, I, I swear I'm trying to do justice to that, but only you can say it like you say it. So that's that's all I got. Uh, so we've got a little board here that we gotta take the plastic off of. So while we while I fidget with that, you wanna look at some of these cars we got yeah, here. What else we got? What here? we got here? We've got some. We got an orange car, a blue car. I think we know what the blue car is. I think we know, but Put it again, right there. we can't really say it. Uh, unfortunately, but if you know, you know. I mean, if you know your if you know your fast franchise and you know your cars, but also the, the car can car. be whatever you want it to be. Like that's the cool thing about it. But if you want to be loyal to the canon of the fast franchise, and hopefully I can get this board open before I'm, the unboxing video is over. I'm which fat I I fingering can. this. <laughs> can't quite get it out. So we've got this is basically the board we're gonna be on the whole time. I'm gonna let the camera kind of take a look at that. So we're basically on a highway here and I'm, we're gonna go through setup a little bit, which will be on the following video. So if you're watching this now, we're just doing an unboxing, just kind of showing you the contents of what's inside here. Uh, we will have a follow-up video where we will actually play through the game and explain what all this means. But in a nutshell, there's three different scenarios that happen on this little highway here. And it's up to us to either succeed or fail. And that's what's cool about this game. It's a co-op. I don't think you knew that 
come no, in. No, I, I thought we were, I think John was convinced we were in here cheating, <laughs> getting it all set up. But it turns out we're on the same team. And by John, he means John Brotherton, who is right over there. Okay, that's confusing. <laughs> JB, that's, wait, uh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> but if it weren't a co-op, I would 100% be conspiring to cheat, so, you know. Yeah, you I'm just putting it out good. there. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I'm just gonna say, you know, it's it doesn't look good if I lose on my own channel. Well, to know? quote another good movie, if you ain't first, you're last. That's true. It's a good one. So we've got some dice here. So these are known as uh, we got this one right here. We got some. These are known as skilled dice. So if you're a fan of RPG, especially like the Genesis dice system, you know we have these little odds of there can be a number come up. There can be this little icon here. It's all kind of up to you. So almost the power of what you can do is in your hands in a way because you got to do the dice roll to determine whether you will succeed or fail the task at hand. And also there's this little enemy dice uh, according to the instructions because for every action we do, there's got to be a reaction. So in this case, if we're doing the tank scenario, then Owen Shaw is going to fire back if we fire something at him uh, and stuff like that. So uh, part of the gameplay mechanics is we go and then they go. But again, in our uh, following video after this, we will get more into the gameplay mechanics. For now, we're just kind of exploring what's in here. So, so what do we got here? What's this? So we've got here, we've got, these are known as stunt cards. So part of the gameplay mechanics is there's these stunts, like you can jump a car, or you can sacrifice your car to take out the semi-truck or the tank. And you know, there's certain prerequisites you have to hit in order to pull those off. But basically that's, uh, these are the supplement us to help win the game, hopefully. Because but once these run out, we lose too. So the stakes are pretty high. So this is the amount of tries, essentially, we have to mm -hmm. w beat the mini game. There are, yeah, that's exactly right. And there's different stunts for each scenario. So the tank assault can have its own scenario uh, stunts. The semi heist will have its own stunts, and the chopper heist will have its own stunts gotcha. as well. So underneath this though is where we can some really, really fun stuff. So we've got our character cards. Uh, we've got. <laughs> Of course, Dominic Toretto's on top. Now we can't, you know, that's all I'll say. It's Dominic Toretto, and uh, if you know, you know. Like I said, if you know, you know, we don't have to get into who is who, but I'm gonna show you a little bit. Here's Dominic Toretto. We got it, you know, Brian O'Connor. I mean, yeah. Brian O'Connor, come on, come on. And then we got Letty. So you got the big three right here. This is like the equivalent of the Holy Trinity in DC Comics. You know, you got your Superman, you got your Batman, and you got your Wonder Woman. That's the th what these three are. To the Fast franchise. So if you're gonna, if you're playing this game for the first time, you've maybe never seen the Fast movies. You can't go wrong with one of these three, right? Well, that's 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 it right there, baby. And then we got this guy here who, uh, for the lack comedic, of a better word, comedic work, relief. He's uh he's hungry. He's hungry, as he likes to say, because that's Roman Pierce. So we all love Roman Pierce. Uh, he can talk his way pretty much out of any situation, like somehow, even though it looks like he's not gonna make it. Like every movie, mm -hmm. it's like, is this the one where Roman Pierce won't pull it off? But somehow. Somehow, some way, <laughs> whether it's a harpoon or a, or a, an ice lake or a... <laughs> that's, the, you know, that's the funny thing about this franchise, man. And we talked about this on the phone last week, like as I was, we were kind of prepping for this shoot. The first one was like basically the movie Point Break, but with like race cars you know, with drag racing. And mm -hmm. it's evolved into basically superhero movies. You know, you, you got The Rock punching through a steel door and redirecting a torpedo with his bare hands <clears throat> in the Arctic. Well, they were always ones to bend the laws of physics a little bit. <laughs> That's and true. then it just started to get more and more and more insane as the movies <laughs> went by. <laughs> It really yeah, that's, and, it's no joke. And I'm here for all of it. If, I, if I'm going to be honest, I'm here for all of it. And you know who else is? The creator of Deadpool, Rob Liefeld. All he does is talk about, you know, he's like, it gets crazier and crazier. I love it. Like, I hope they go to space. And for the record, I hope they go to space too. So maybe, maybe that'll be the next board who game. Who knows? Uh, so to finish out our character cards, we got Tej Parker, you know, our tech genius and everything. And just, he really can talk his way out of any situation without stumbling. He's so smooth. So that's, that's, Tej Parker is one of my favorite characters. And of course, last, but certainly not least, the one and only Han Solo. Not to be confused with Han Solo from uh, Star Wars. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that that's his full character name. When they're in like, I think, Hobbs' headquarters and it's on the computer 
and Jason Statham, of course, can do anything because whenever he's a villain, somehow he's good at everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, I think it's in his contract. I don't know. I mm -hmm. wasn't, wasn't there, but. Good chance. Yeah. But anyways, you know the scene I'm talking about. That, I guess that's my point. And my point is, it's never said. <laughs> and uh, what do we got here? Uh, so we have the cards that correlate to the vehicles. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the vehicles have different stats. Mm -hmm. So what we have here, so we've got the American Muscle, which for the most part, Dominic Toretto drives, but you never know. Han Solo may want to drive it too, or no, we're not going to let Roman drive this, I don't think. I don't think Roman uh, so the, is ready. The characters aren't necessarily attached to the car. No, we can. you can actually pick whatever car you want. And so this right here, is actually their energy meter. So sometimes you may take damage, whether it's from the tank or the semi or the chopper, and you gotta just take it down a notch according to what kind of damage you took. So just like in video games, you wanna make sure your energy meter is full, uh, as full as possible, rather. Gotcha. All right. So we've got American Muscle. One of muscle. my personal favorites oh, right yeah. there. Import right here. You gotta love that import. And then uh, we've got the Street Drifter. Which, which which one is this one? I think that's Tokyo Drift. I want to say that that would be Han's car because it kind of looks like Han's car. Oh, we got the, so that's a whole other thing on the other side. Oh, this there's, there's, there's so when, in the gameplay, there's these things called enemy SUVs and sometimes you can hijack the SUV. So we'll get into that as well in the following video. But uh, for now, the Street Drifter, I'm just going to think that's a nod to Tokyo Drift where we all kind of got our exposure to drifting. And here's our nod to Fast Seven, Fast Seven, right here, which we're both alumni of. I mean, my my two seconds on screen are pretty powerful. If I don't mind saying it. <laughs> yeah, if you're looking at me going, that's not Sung Kang. I was like, yeah, I'm not that Asian guy from the Furious, the Fast and Furious franchise. I'm, and I'm not Earl either. That's Jason Tobin. I'm just me. I was I was the male racer in Part Seven. So. <clears throat> I, I feel like I can see people watching trying to like put it together. Uh, I'm not the guy from Walking Dead either. Uh, you know, we can keep going on the way. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering. But, but Steven is a great guy and I'm very happy for him. The hair looks good, dude. Yeah, it, I, I it grew this good. out because Sung wasn't available. So I figured, well, if Sung Kang's not available, I should at least kind of grow my hair out to, kinda, you know, kind of resemble Han a little bit, the best I can. Yeah, well, it's pretty convincing. Uh, yeah, so that's the release the beast. So we've got, look at all these miniatures here. So for our corresponding scenarios, we've got our tank. We've got our semi, we've got our chopper. You know, get to the chopper. You know, we got to go over there. Somehow, you know, somehow Arnold Schwarzenegger will, I feel like he'll find his way into the Fast franchise. Oh, it's uh, coming. I hope They're so. gonna make probably 12 of these movies. And I hope that it's Dwayne Johnson, or a tops, telling him, hey, get to the chopper. It's like, I was going to say that. <laughs> you know, just something like, I'm just thinking, thinking ahead, in case anyone in Universal's watching, they need ideas, you know, I'm just saying. Like, I think that'd be a great trailer moment. Out there. Anyways, uh, so we've got our minis here. We've got a little tokens. We got all our game pieces. You know, it's everything you expect out of a board game. And I, I, I'm really excited to play this with you and our good buddy John Brotherton, who's going to join us for uh, the gameplay video, which you will see after this one. Uh, John Brotherton, of course, played Shepard, and he's like basically the super soldier in Part Seven. You know, he got he got to work with Kurt Russell. You know, and like. He didn't laugh at Tyrese's character's jokes, which is one of my favorites. Deadpan. Scene. Yeah, just totally. Nope. Just like, it's like he he was like the brooding Captain America. He's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Anyways, yo, you can't do that. So, that that's actually one of my favorite characters. I'm not just saying it because John Brotherton is in the room. I'm just saying it because it's facts are facts. You know. So we've got our enemy cards here. We've got our stunt cards. We've got, you know, since our vehicles have the energy meters, we also have it for our enemy vehicles. So I think I think our unboxing looks pretty good. I think I think I'm ready to play. Are you ready? I'm to, ready. Ready to get in. I'm this? ready. Let's get John in here and we'll we'll get in here. So everybody, thank you for watching our unboxing of Fast and Furious Highway Heist, which has been brought to you by us here at Gaghead and the lovely folks at Funko Games. And uh, be on the lookout for our gameplay video. It'll be coming out if you're watching if you're binge watching this, depending on our release schedules, which you haven't really worked out yet. Uh, it'll be on right after this, so just be on the lookout for that, but hopefully this gives you a little insight into what comes with the game if you're kind of on the fence about making a purchase. So that all being said, thank you again for watching. 
and be sure to look out for our gameplay video. And on behalf of everybody at Geghead and Funko Games, we wish you all a very good evening and good game.